So wh wh where are you taking me today? Well, we have a lovely walk that you can do from the village. So you've arrived, you're doing your wee overnight stop at the Coon. You lovely. don't even have to get into the car again to oh, enjoy great. the beauty of what great. we have. Great. 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 So this is a short walk. It's called the Millennium Walk. Right. Uh, we, it was uh, originally called the Squeeze Guts because it was an area where the milking cows passed through a very narrow passage oh, and it was believed that they actually squeezed, squeezed their through. <laughs> very squeezed good. <laughs> I like uh, it. So it, it's a walk that's uh, synonymous with Strangford and its history. Okay. But in the year 2000, the Woodland Trust took it over. Uh, some of the land was gifted to the village by the current Baron de Roos. Right. Uh, Peter Maxwell, yes, and yeah. they themselves, in conjunction with the Woodland Trust, established this beautiful walk. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. So it's less than forty minutes, mm -hmm. a nice leisurely stroll, mm -hmm. comfortable to do, and only trainers. You don't need to have all the whole gear. Yes. You don't yeah, need yeah. walking yeah. boots, yeah. and you will enjoy some beautiful uh, scenery on route. Yes. Yes. So this little map um, shows you some of the areas that we'll be walking on. Uh -huh. The Coon is on this side of the village square. You cross over onto the Castle Street, yep. you walk right the way up uh, or around by the quay, which is even more picturesque. And then we'll travel to the top of Compass Hill, right. down towards the shore, and a little bit around the coast. Lovely, area. lovely, lovely. And, and we come back to base here. We don't go out the road at the cliff. No, yeah, no, no, no. No, no. We, we are just. Um, <clears throat> we come out just beyond the school on the main down Patrick, Patrick Road, road. Yes, into Strangford. So it's a lovely wee circle. Oh, that sounds good. And a nice stroll. Good. So we'll leave the warmth of this I lovely know, fire know, on know, a I'm fresh fair. February morning. Good. And don the coats. Great, great stuff. Lovely. And we don't Thank need you. the map. down here in Strangford. Yes indeed, it is represented on thermal maps of Ireland and is known for its warmer climates. So we always say sunny Strangford. Sunny Strangford. Pleasant. Even on a fresh February, yeah, February morning yeah. we have sunshine. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. But that nice climate allows for some of the vegetation you might see there. Mm -hmm. uh, also as a region, this area of sort of south and east down is known for its um, earlier um, varieties of potatoes, yes. etc. Most of all, the, the cumber potato. Uh, also, Mount Stewart National Trust property on the far side of the lock on the Arts Peninsula uh, is world renowned for the, the, the gardens. Uh, gardens, yeah, the trees and the plants, etc., that they were able to grow because of the microclimate. But this, this, this viewpoint, and you did tell me about it in advance, it's, it's fantastic. Staggering. It really yes, is. Yeah, it's very it gives beautiful. a true sense of what you were telling yeah. me down at the, and and down at the key the there. Flow of, yeah. of, of the narrows and the yeah. ring you were telling me about there, I can actually see it now in full view. You can imagine being out on that water, it really is quite exciting. This area, Kieran, that I was telling you about the squeeze guns now, it's, uh, presumably they've opened it somewhat, but it, it was considered a narrow entrance for the cattle going to and from milking and it was perceived that they had their tummy was actually squeezed as they passed through here. So affectionately known as the squeeze guts. Squeeze guts, So the area we're on now, Cairn, is the area that was gifted to the village by the Baron de Roos, Peter Maxwell, mm -hmm. and that facilitated the, the walk up to this nice viewpoint called Compass Hill, yeah. and from the top of that we'll get a lovely uh, view right out over the lock, and on a day like today hopefully we'll see as far as Scrabble Tower. Oh, um, so the old walk used to be just behind that wall there and then it went straight down onto the shore. But this adds a lovely dimension into the walk that we're doing today. Okay.
So do we go left or straight off? I would always encourage people to continue on past the pond area because one of the greatest rewards of this walk is when you get popped out onto the shoreline and you get to see the whole way up Strangford Lock. Truly stunning and beautiful. Right, go we'll ahead down there now. Cumber Newton Arts mm -hmm. directly on top of the Strangford Lock. Yeah. And across the way, more immediately here, we have Audley's Castle, a very, very famous location for the Game of Thrones filming. And then over to the side here, you can see the stone structure. Now, that is an old Victorian plunge pool. Mm -hmm. So the tower is where the people, the gentry, would have come down to change. There's a lovely open fire there. And then a few steps down into that little squared off area where they would have taken the waters of Strangford. Oh, beautiful. So this was obviously a, a window of some sort. Yeah, 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 and then a lovely viewpoint up there. Yeah, and up there. you can imagine by the holes in the structure here that you could actually possibly have climbed up onto a wee bit of a platform. There must have been. Yeah. Maybe like another floor yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And I imagine there was a roof of some oh, sort yes, on this. Oh yes, I would say yeah. so, yeah. 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 Caroline, I just want to say thank you very much. That was a, a, a fantastic walk. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, over three kilometres, we think? Just a little over three kilometres. You, you, you don't even on. notice it. You don't even notice the distance, yeah. No, but um, as you know, with Judith's discussion, I was telling you how I used to come to visit here with my granny up the, up the road there. But I never realised there was so much to Strangford. Yeah. Um, particularly when we're out looking over the walk at the, or over, over the uh, lock there. Mm -hmm. Fan, fantastic. Oh, it's, really, it's really stunning. enjoyed it. Yeah. And I, I guess, so if that's a 3K, that could be for your visitors about a 45 minute walk. Mm -hmm. um, we, mm -hmm. we walked and stopped and we got you to, yeah. so taken by the plunge pool. Yes, it's, it's oh, very I've unique. Never I, seen don't, that I, I like. haven't seen it anywhere else before. And yeah. you know, seasonally then, take a wee picnic. You yeah. can have your bluebell yeah. picnic. Oh, or in the winter, you could take your wee flask of tea and sit down by the shore. And it's that sense of complete escapism. Totally. It's on your doorstep. Once you're here in Strangford, you don't have to drive any further. Yeah. And, and you just get to draw back from all of the pressures and the stresses of life and recalibrate. And it's well, do you know what I have special. to do? I have to talk to a good friend of mine, my partner, mm -hmm. my wife, Maria, and we yeah. have to come down and do that. De yes, definitely. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then maybe come back for a Oh, week. a nice bowl of charter. And maybe come back for a, fire maybe come back for a week something. <laughs> if it's summertime, you could be dining with your crab claws Lovely. out the front and a nice wee glass of So goodness. let's just want to say thank you very much for today. And I know that's yeah. part of our project that we're working with you. And uh, best wishes for that. Thank you. Thank you, Karen.